what's up guys so today we are going to be in my kitchen i brought some bananas uh, the other day i bought two packages of them because i want to freeze dry them and so i have my freeze dry trays out here with me and i want to get them cut up and in the freeze dryer i also brought some peaches I bought second peaches which just basically means that they have blemishes on them when I first got them they were rock solid and so I had them sitting out for about five days and now they are super soft the first thing that I'll need to do for the peaches is get the skins off and so I already have a pot of water that I filled up it's not boiling yet but once it starts boiling I'll dump the peaches in there for about 60 seconds and then take them out and the skin should fall right off with the bananas I'm just gonna peel them chop them lay them on the tray so this is basically what I mean when I say seconds. They are peaches that have blemishes on them. Um, sometimes slits down the middle and they sell them for a cheaper price than they would perfectly um, pristine peaches. And so I got some of these and I am going to use them because I am going to be canning peaches. I've never canned peaches before, but I'm going to try. And then I also saw a barbecue recipe, um, and a, it was called a peach barbecue recipe that I want to try as well. So let's get started. So I have the peaches out and I actually let them go in there for about three minutes. Uh, even though it said like 30 seconds, I can feel that the skin is movable right now. When I tried to swipe, yep, that one is already peeling off. I've run them under cold water. And then I have this bowl here where I'm gonna put the skins and the pits and any parts that are not good in this bowl. I'm going to start working on these peaches while the water starts to reboil. So the skin is still a little tough to pull off. As I was peeling these peaches, I realized that the smaller ones were way easier to peel um, than the bigger ones, and so maybe I just needed to leave them in there for more time. So I have my bananas all separated, and I'm just gonna begin chopping. When I bought them, they were perfectly uh, yellow. They still had green on them, and I waited for them to get spots of them so that they can get sweeter. I don't actually like to eat bananas once they get like this, but I know that they are sweeter and I figured for freeze dried, I would want them to be on the sweeter side. So that's what I waited. I'm just gonna cut them in half inch slices. I'm not trying to be perfect, just not too big. And I want them to be evenly spaced so that they all freeze at the same time. With these, you can totally put this tray on the freezer first and then allow it to pre-freeze and then put it in the freeze dryer. That would speed up the freeze drying time because if you put in uh, food that is not, freeze, um, not frozen, it will have to freeze it first and then begin the freeze drying process. I don't have space in my freezer in order to uh, pre-freeze these and so I'm just going to be putting them straight into my freeze dryer unfrozen like this and i'll just keep chopping and we'll be back once i have all the bananas on the tray
So I'll close this and then just press freeze drying and it's not frozen food so I can just press start and this will do a manual freeze dry for me and it's going to start by freeze freezing the food and then it'll start drying it for those bananas they'll have to run in the freeze dry for 24 hours so we'll have to check back on those tomorrow but I will include that in this video I won't end it until uh, we take those out of the freeze dryer and store them in Marlar bag it has now been a couple days since I actually started peeling those peaches. Right now I am chopping them so that I could get enough cups and I am aborting mission for freeze drying peaches. I am actually just going to turn it into barbecue sauce and uh, peach jam because I did have to take a pause on this while I was in the middle of freeze drying or actually uh, peeling my um, peaches. I had an emergency and so I didn't get back to this till the next day or so. So right now I am just, I think quadrupling the recipe for peach barbecue sauce. I will have um, the recipe that I used in the description box. And I don't know why I thought that four times peach recipe um, barbecue could fit inside of this um, Dutch oven, but I do after uh, change it to a bigger pot when I realize I still have onions and other things to put in there, but it was funny. So here we are in a bigger pot and I'm just adding the onions. I didn't have enough onions. Um, I did grow these onions that I'm adding into here, but I didn't have enough. And so I added in a uh, powdered onion powder as well. So I'm going to let this simmer for 25 minutes or boil for 25 minutes just to the peaches and everything is nice and soft and incorporated. And this is me just stirring it and making sure it's all done. So now I'm gonna move on to making the peach jalapeno barbecue sauce. I mean, the peach jalapeno jelly. Oh yeah, I will link the recipes that I am using uh, down there. This is the peach barbecue sauce. I guess it's really, really dark for canning and freezing. And then I have another one for the peach jalapeno sauce. You can't really see it. Um, but so it's peach jalapeno jam and so that is what i'm going to be making and it is done i believe in the instapot so let me get the ingredients for that for this recipe you need three jalapenos but i'm quadrupling it so i have 12 jalapenos chopped then i'll need a cup of apple cider vinegar again because i'm quadrupling the recipe, I'm gonna turn this on to saute. You'll need 16 cups of sugar, which is definitely a lot, but <laughs> again, for one recipe, it calls for four cups and four, eight, 12, 16. So one, two. You know guys, blame it on me being sleepy, but I don't know why I thought quadrupling that recipe and that it would fit in the Instapot. So I transferred it over to my big water bath canner and this is what we'll process it at. So my barbecue sauce has been simmering for longer than 25 minutes, close to probably the 30. And I'm going to use my immersion blender and blend it all up. The peaches are very soft right now, so it should be really easy. I did end up using my Vitamix. Um, I believe to blend up some as well to go faster and this made a lot of peach barbecue sauce but originally I wasn't planning on making so many recipes but after I had to take a pause on um, dealing with my peaches they started to turn brown and I didn't think that it would look good just canning uh, whole peaches like that and so that's why I ended up quadrupling this recipe but I'm happy that I did so um, it smells amazing I did taste it and it does taste exactly like barbecue sauce with a peach flavor um, and so I'm going to can them I did switch out one of those jars because as I was wiping the rim I s realized that one of them had a crack on the side and or on the tip and so I thought it wasn't going to be able to seal and so I transferred out um, one of those jars and then I had like that much peach barbecue sauce in that jar right there that I didn't can and so I just left it in my refrigerator to use. 
So now the bananas are ready and so I just turned off that valve or opened that valve and I'm going to open the bananas. And it's completely dry. Yummy. Does it taste like Naya? It tastes like the one from Taylor Gray. It tastes good. You even taste it yet. Yeah. What it tastes like. Yeah. It is now time to can these uh, peach barbecue sauce. I couldn't find my rack and so I just put some lids at the bottom of the pot. And I am going to let this process for 20 minutes, I think it was. And I wanted added more water because you're supposed to make sure the water is one to two inches above um, your jars. And uh, now that it's finished, I am taking it out and I have another um, round to go. Now we are on the peach jalapeno jam and I am adding four boxes of this shore gel. I did quadruple this recipe, so I'm adding one box uh, for each recipe and I'm just going to add them in there and then I need to incorporate it by using my immersion blender to blend it all up. Make sure that it's nicely evenly blended and uh, let it boil. So now that that is finished, now it is time to can up this peach jalapeno jam. As you can see, it did make a lot of jam and my kids really like jam and jelly. And so instead of canning them into um, four ounce jars, I decided to can, or eight ounce jars, I decided to can them in 16 ounce jars because I had so much. And I'm glad I did because it really tastes nice. It's not even, um, there's no spiciness at all because my family doesn't like spiciness and so that's a plus but I can taste the jalapeno. It kind of tastes like the nada peños where you have the jalapeno taste but it's not spicy and so that's what this recipe tastes like. I did de-seed the jalapenos and so um, I know they said you could leave the the ribs and the seeds in there if you wanted it to be spicier but I did not and so that is why I took them out and I just filled all these jars. I think I ended up getting 14 jars um, of jelly, 14 or 15 jars. Now I'm just wiping off the rims and getting me some uh, lids. I had them sitting right there inside water and I'm just making sure that they're all clean and there's no nicks and anything like that. And then I'll add in the rims to fingertip tight. The jars are really hot and so I'm using the cloth to um, hold it for me. For this jam, I am water bath canning it as well and I had to do it into two batches and I'm just making sure that the water is one to two inches above the jars. What's up guys? So editing me, I realized I never ended this video so I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. So I did end up getting 13 jars of um, peach jalapeno jam and I got 12 um, jars of the barbecue sauce. Um, they did, I did have one of each jar not sealed, and so originally I had 14 of the jalapeno and 13 of the barbecue sauce. One of these didn't seal, so I put it in the refrigerator, and then one of these didn't seal, so I put it in the refrigerator as well. In order to make sure it seals, you take the rim off, and then you just hold it by, or you take the, um, the bands off, and then you just hold it, and you just lift it, and you should be able to lift it without it uh, falling off to show that you have a good seal. These are all the bananas that we have left. I did, um, it's been about a week since these have been finished and we've all tasted them. Takresha from our Freedom Song as well as her kids have tasted them. We've already done another batch of bananas. Uh, the kids love them, we love them. They taste like those yogurt bites, uh, the baby yogurt bites where you put them in the baby's mouth and they kind of melt, except for like this really strong banana flavor. It actually tastes more banana more banana -y flavor than the ones from Trader Joe's. That's where um, I would get my freeze-dried um, veg, I mean fruit from. And so my favorite was always the strawberries and the bananas. And so I'm so happy to have my freeze dryer. I will have a link to, in the description box if you're interested in freeze dryer. You can use um, my discount code and use um, Dom50 to get $50 off of your freeze dryer. This video did take a long time to make. It was right smack dab in the middle of lots of emergencies that we had. And so it took me about four days to complete um, 
messing with those peaches that was 25 pounds of peaches um i did want to freeze dry some i did want to uh can some whole and i just didn't get a chance to because once i had them all peeled they started browning and then i had to we had an emergency i had to take a break on it and so then i just decided to you know can them all since color wouldn't matter that they was turning brown and so uh, even editing this video uh, that's why a lot of it was on time lapse because i was just so tired trying to do this uh, every night for like four nights just to get it done and so now that it is done I'm so happy to have it completed and I am so uh, graciously appreciative to you guys um, for all of your messages and your comments that you have left on my video um, and I just appreciate you guys so much so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it did take a long time to make um, <laughs> because of just life and so I am glad to have it over and done and get to move forward, um, continue making videos. So I will see you guys next time.